Hey, what's up guys? Today's video, we're gonna be downloading the file and tune out of this Dodge Viper using HP tuners. So HP tuners just released JTEC and JTEC Plus support for Dodge products. So we're gonna be using the MPVI2. We're gonna download the file that's out of the vehicle and then right back to the vehicle. So if you're new to the channel, we have the Viper ACR and we also have the Dodge Dakota. So we're gonna be tuning both of those with the HP tuners. So I've got the laptop set up and I'm just gonna guide you through what's going on. So we'll switch to screen view so you guys can see a little bit better. Right now I'm just downloading the latest version of HP tuners beta. So I'm running through the install process. So I would do the same if I were you guys, just make sure you're up to date and then we'll get started. So while we install the latest version, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in our MPVI2 to our car. So you're gonna find the OBD2 port underneath there, plug it in and also plug in our USB-C to here and go back to the computer. Also, we'll wanna put our vehicle ignition to the on position. And now we can get into our HP tuner software. All right, so here we are, we're on our HP tuner software. So first thing we're gonna do is go over here to this green chip looking thing. And we're gonna click on this and it's gonna say read vehicle. So it's gonna pop up this and you're gonna click read. So it might do this interface firmware update. So let it run through. Now let's click read. Okay, so it's telling us to turn ignition off and wait three seconds. So we'll do that and then we'll turn ignition on. Turn our ignition off. Wait three seconds. Turn it back to on. And now we can go back to our software. So now it is downloading. Here we go with the read. Okay, so once it pops up this window, it's asking you where to save your file. So we'll just put in Dodge Viper initial download or something descriptive. Obviously, you guys can choose yours. Okay, so I'll just save this on my desktop. All right, guys. So this is everything that's in the vehicle. This is all the tune. So you guys can pop around and poke around in all the different maps. This is everything to do with the engine since we're in the engine folder can do engine diagnostics, transmission, but I mean, transmission is manual, so there's probably not a whole lot in there. Fuel system, speedo, all that good stuff. So you would change whatever you wanna change. So we'll change a few things here. You can go into your different tables. Here's our spark table. So if you wanted to change some of the spark and I mean, really, there's all sorts of different tables that you can get into, so you can start altering them all. So this with EGR on, EGR off, so kind of when it's not up to temperature, when it is up to temperature, that sort of thing. So like I said, you guys can spend a ton of time in here, but I'm going to show you, once you change whatever you want to change, how you'll write it back to the car. Okay, so once you're done with your changes, you can go ahead and save them. So you'll save that map. So just for demonstration purposes I'm not really going to change too much but I mean you can go in you can change your fan speeds and all sorts of different stuff as well as fully tune it so now we're going to go to write vehicle and it's going to say you do not have a license for this show license options so we're going to have to go and get our license Okay, so what you saw me just do there is I went up to the help and then I went to resync interface and this is so that the credits that you purchase online from HP tuners, they can be synced to your actual device. So as you can see here, it says four credits added for a total of 10. So now the software has my credits from my account online. And now if I go to right vehicle, you saw before it said I didn't have credits or that it wasn't licensed. So if you see show license option now, so it's gonna say that it takes one credit now, you can either click do not license or we can license it. It's warning us at the top that you can only do this once and we're gonna say, okay, are you sure? We're gonna say yes. And there we go. So now we can write our file back to the computer or the PCM. 
It's going to tell us to turn ignition off, wait three seconds, turn ignition on, and click OK. So let's go to our vehicle. So we're going to go over to our car, turn off the ignition for three seconds, turn it back to on, and we'll go back to our computer. So we'll hit OK, and here it is writing, saying it's going to take about three minutes. So we'll let that run. All right, so it says write completed, please cycle the engine. So let's go ahead and do that. So now that it's completed, it wants us to cycle the engine. Let's walk back over to the car. Turn it off. And we'll turn everything back on. And just to verify everything works, I'm going to go ahead and start it. So we didn't really change too much, but this is with the new file written to the PCM with the HP tuners. All right guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you found it helpful. I hope you found it informative. So we successfully read and wrote to this Dodge Viper. It's a 2000, so it's the JTEC Plus, but I hope you guys enjoyed that video. We're gonna be doing a lot more stuff with it. We just wanted to see and make sure that we could successfully write and read to it, show you guys how to do that, and then it's up to you guys to play with the parameters or change whatever you guys want. So if you guys like this, make sure you give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. We're gonna be doing a lot more on the car, also on the truck. So we have a bunch of projects on the go. You guys don't want to miss it. And you'll see that join button down below. If you guys click join, you guys can support your boy and the channel as we continue to mod and have fun with all these vehicles. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you on the next video.